Okay, so I'm currently going towards downtown Olympia for the Potter Puppet Pals, Harry and the Potters, and the Hank Green concert event. So I have to go alone this time because the friend that I would go with is currently in Poland. Hi, Kitty! And so, I'm going stag. Oh, 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 we're turning, we're turning, we're turning. We're moving, we're moving. I'm moving and vlogging. This is so dangerous. Oh my god, how do people do this? How do people do this? Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Manslaughter! I'm kind of nervous about it actually. You know that feeling when you're in, you know, a public place or an event and you're surrounded by people who are in groups or pairs and you're just alone by yourself and you're like the only person who's alone. And that feeling of everyone, you know, looking at you and thinking like, wow, look at that person, you know, who's all alone. What are they doing here? Alone. That's... And you feel like this judgment about it, like all these invisible eyes on you, thinking these terrible things, and you know, like in your mind, you know, that they're not really thinking that, and there's no one that's really looking at you, or no one really cares, but you can't quite shake that feeling. Well, I'm prepared to experience that tonight. Uh, I'm gonna have a good time. Of course I am, because <laughs> I just can't not have a good time. Hank Green, good lord, I love him. But there's still that little bit of awkwardness, that feeling of judgment that you got to get around, that I have to get around. Oh, okay, there's a car there. <laughs> Freeway vlogging is probably not a thing, right? Because if it's not, I understand why it isn't. These people are nerd fighters and just other generally awesome people from the internet. And I'm sure they're going to be great and fun and nice. And there's no reason for me to be thinking like this, except for, you know, that, you know, just being self-conscious, which is stupid. And I'm sure I'll get over it and have a great time either way. All right, well, see you again there. The space was pretty small, but everyone was so eager and enthusiastic that there was this air of anticipation that just filled the room and got me so excited. Though, I probably didn't really need the extra excitement, considering how I was bouncing off the walls for meeting Hank. Anyway, Hank started the show with a really relaxed, intimate atmosphere. He cracked jokes, told stories, sung awesome songs, and it was all just so totally jokes. I've seen Hank perform a couple times before, and I've always really enjoyed it. Hank always puts on a really awesome show, and if you can see him, go do it. Next up was the Potter Puppet Pals. They were fun and smart and just hilarious through and through. Their live shows do not disappoint. I swear, I was laughing constantly. And to wrap things up, Harry and the Potters came on to do their set. Now I wasn't really expecting to like them too much because I'd heard their music before and never really ever got into it, but I was so wrong. I actually didn't get much footage of them because I was too busy getting my face rocked off. Harry and the Potters are a band to be seen live, in person. They were so good! Ah. While I was there, I kept thinking, this is amazing. And yeah, I meant the performances, but I also meant something else too. The fact that this can even happen is amazing. The way over a hundred people who have never met each other can come together through the internet, through YouTube, to watch a show about Harry Potter and laugh and sing all together simply because of the shared interest is amazing. The way people from ages 4 to 40 can all just love and experience and enjoy the same thing is amazing. I have no idea what my life would be like without this community this inspiring, novel thing. But I know I wouldn't be half the person I am, or have nearly such a full life without it. It's such a remarkable thing, the power that the online community can bring. It's weird and different and never heard of before. And I'm just so happy, excited, and proud to be a part of it, no matter how small. Oh, and about those invisible eyes, I never felt them. The map of the realm of Narnia or <laughs> Harry Potter and Benedict Cumberbatch <laughs> and the Time Lord fight the Dalek <laughs> Harry Potter and Alex and Charlie go to the mall <laughs> Harry Potter and the Narf <laughs>